Hi, we're doing the posterior atlanto occipital test and so, or sorry, membrane test. And so with this, there's technically two ways that you can do it. And so just, I would kind of go with what makes you most comfortable. The first is you would come down from the mastoid and find the C1 transverse processes. And then you are going to put your arm over the top of their head and then grab their occiput, kind of in their suboccipital region and then you are going to apply traction to see if there's excessive movement in it and you can move them into varying degrees of flexion to see if you're feeling the S1 move or not, but you should feel traction come and the S1 start moving up into your fingers. The other way that you can do it, again, is put your fingers, find the mastoid and then come down to the S1 transverse processes and then instead what you're going to do is you're going to do a small tilt again to the right to feel, or I guess I went to the left, to feel the right transverse process come up into your finger and then tilt the opposite direction to feel the opposite. So in this case over here where my thumb is, finest pro or transverse process come up into my finger. So. Either way you can do it, both fall under the domain for doing this test, but what you're assessing is the joint in the membrane that lies between your occiput and your C1 vertebra. Also, both of these uh, tests have really good sensitivity and specificity for figuring that out.